right, let's start to look at this together because by now you've put down your lines, you've got some angles measured there as well, and um, now you're starting to write some stuff out for what you have observed. So everyone's lines are going to look slightly different, which is lovely, but they'll probably look vaguely like this, and we're going to point out a few things. So first question. We asked you to draw a couple of parallel lines. Does anyone know what's the way I show on the diagram the two lines are parallel? What do I indicate? Vishaka. Um, you put two arrows on each side. Very good. So the lines that are parallel, and on mine, like I, they sort of look vaguely parallel, right? I'm going to indicate them with a couple of arrows that head in the same direction. If I had lots of parallel lines, like different pairs, then I might have, you know, two arrows on each one, so long as they're matching up together, okay? I could even have like a third line over here that was also parallel, and if I wanted to show that, I'd just put another arrow. Thumbs up? So if you haven't done that on yours, please go ahead and put those on. Now, after that, hopefully you've measured all of your angles. I've got eight, probably you've got eight as well. You may or may not have used color, but I use color to indicate some things that are equal and some things that are not. We'll talk about them in a second. But lastly, when you're starting to write your reasoning, you might have noticed it's hard to talk about these angles and explain them to someone else without kind of holding up your diagram and like pointing to a thing because nothing is labeled at the moment. Nothing has a name, right? I would like to be able to talk about these different angles and not be able to say, or not be forced to say, hey, you know that one sort of in the middle of the diagram? No, no, the, the other middle, like facing that direction. That's all really long and ambiguous. So I'm gonna put some names on this and I'd like you to do the same. You know your parallel lines? I'd like you to name them like this. Call one of them A and on the other end B. And we really can name these anything, but just to be consistent, then we'll have some good language here. I'm going to call the other one, because it's parallel, C, D. And then, right down the middle here, I've got this special line. Now you can see, this is that third line that cuts across, and I've sort of highlighted cuts across. Does anyone know there's a special word, starts with a T, that means a word that cuts across. Both are the lines. So, Andrew, do you know it? Transversal. If you've never heard that word before, um, let me write it down for all of us. Trans, like transport, transversal. It's the word, it's a, it's just means it cuts across all the other ones. This transversal, um, we want to have sort of, I'm going to have some different letters going across here. And there's one, two, three, four places. So I'm going to call these guys, I need another color here. I'm going to call this P, Q, R, S. So I've got A, B, C, D, that gives me my parallel lines, and then this guy cutting across P, Q, R, S. All right, now, we can start to talk about some of the things you observe. I'd love to get some volunteers to maybe share one thing at a time, and then as you share it, I'd love us as a class to try and work out where on this diagram, and we have ways to describe everything, can we see the thing that's been pointed out by someone? So, okay, Krishan, I'll go to you second. Louise, you want to start off? Um, what do you see? They both have the same, like you have the same numbers. Okay, so, so hopefully the first thing that all of you notice is there's loads of numbers that are identical. They're equal to each other, right? Okay, Krishan, can you tell me about a specific thing that's related to that? Okay, so we've got some language here that we need to immediately, Merrick, will come to you right next. Let's, let's talk about Krishan's point first. There are co-interior angles on this. Now, if you've never met that phrase before, you can't remember it from last year. Um, Krishan, can you tell me, or can anyone else help me out, and name for me a couple of angles that are co-interior. Hayda, can you give me an example? Okay, so you said 149 and 31, which are the sizes of those angles, right? However, on my diagram, I have a whole lot of 149s and a whole lot of 31s. Can someone name a specific 149 for me and a specific 31? Here. Angle A, Q, R. Okay, pause right there. A. Q, R, so you can see the way that Hyang named this. In fact, I'd love you all to follow along with me. Angle A, Q, R, okay, yep. So that one is this blue 149 degrees, okay. Which one, can someone pick up from him, which angle is co-interior to A, Q, R? What's the name of it? Hmm. David, what are you thinking? P, Q, A. P, Q, A, so here's P, Q, A over here, okay. Now. This, relate, this angle is related to our AQR, but um, co-interior, like that word, it gives us a sort of clue as to what it means. What does interior mean? When someone's an interior designer, what is it that they design? Um, 
inside. things that are inside, right? Like a, like a room or something like that. So is this interior, like inside, with 149? Unfortunately not. It's got a different relationship. We'll come to that. But Leah, what do you see that's co-interior? C, R, Q is the co-interior. C, R, Q. Do you agree with that? C, R, Q? Okay, fantastic. So I can write angle A, Q, R and angle, what did we just say? C, R, Q? C, R, Q, R, co-interior. And that literally means together inside, right? And because they're co-interior, what do you notice about the numbers? 14931, what do you see? Yeah, go, go ahead, Trina. Okay, so when we, um, when we add them up together, 149 plus 31, we get 180. Do you remember we encountered a word yesterday and last year that means you add them together 180? Can someone else help Krishan out? Someone different? Yeah, Anush. Supplementary. Supplementary, very good. AQR and CRQ are co-interior and supplementary. In fact, there's another pair of co-interior angles on here, and they are also supplementary. Can someone tell me what's the other pair? Okay, Krishan, you give me a lot of good suggestions. I wonder if someone else can pick up from there. So, Handy, can you give me another pair? Say that again, Sandy, just a bit louder. Okay, so when we said R here, R is a really helpful and important point, but unfortunately, I've got like a lot of angles at R. I've got one, two, three, four, right? So which angle did you mean? Which one were you referring to, Sandy? Oh, it's C R S. C R S. This one over here. Yep, and S R. S S R. Which other one? S R C. Wait, that's the same one, isn't it? No, wait. SRC and CRS, I'm like, those guys are really close together. They're like the same angle, okay? Um, this guy here, on my diagram anyway, actually is not co-interior to anything. I don't have another guy on this side. Enve, do you want to help me out? What's the other pair of co-interior angles? Or are you going to tell me something else? Okay, they're, they're all angles at a point. That's very good. Harry, do you want to give us the last pair of co-interior uh, angles? D, R, Q, and B, Q, R. D, R, Q, that's this guy? And B, Q, R. This guy. Great. What makes them co-interior? Can you see they're together inside this kind of little box here? Does that make sense? Right? Once you cross over a line, you're like, oh, I'm outside, not co-interior anymore. Okay.